And then I like to have a little bit of all-purpose flour on the side. Because whenever I do doughs, I typically make them a little bit wetter than drier because it's a lot easier to sange it or move, sprinkle in a little flour than it is to add water to a dry dough. It's a nasty, messy thing. So this is much easier to go this route. So I like to sange. Sange. It's a fancy French word for throwing flour. They're so romantic. Right? <laughs> They're so fancy. Sange. Doesn't it just sound like... Unless they're doing it at you, it's not too yeah. nice. It's a milk canal. Yeah, but you don't really use that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we're just trying to like get this mass of dough together. Okay, so then we have our dough. It is together. Right? And now watch this. Right? No, no stretch, no nothing, just rips, right? And that's because there's no gluten developed in here yet. There's uh, two proteins that come together. One's called gliadine and one's called glutenine, that when those are combined with um, liquid and either time or agitation, they develop what's called gluten. And that's what gives you that elasticity <coughs> um, or stretch in breads. And it's typically mostly in wheat flours. So now we need to, this dough is very needy. <laughs> Thank you. So you need to knead it, right? Uh, how long do we need it? About seven minutes. So how do we knead? Well, you use the palm of your hand and you push down and you roll it back and you push on the stretch happens right there. See that stretch? Right there, that's the knead, okay? If you've worked with ceramic, ceramics before, you're gonna be really good at this. Ceramics is so much fun. I love ceramics. Okay, so we're just going to knead and stretch. It's very relaxing. And if your nose is getting a little sticky, you can just Okay. Two hands. Once you get on here a little bit, and you get your whole body into it. So what I like to do is have both.